what's good and welcome back to the channel uh we got a different video today um of course as you've seen if you're interested in black myth wukong coming out um this week on the 20th then you've been looking at the various um uploads of the benchmark tool that they release for free on steam which is awesome i wanted to take a little bit of a different approach um I have a 4060 Ti, and so instead of trying to, I guess, land the settings where they could be for uh, 1080p, I started shooting for 1440p to try to push the boundaries of what is actually feasible with the hardware in this game. And then we took it a step further, which I haven't seen anyone address, which is DLS DR. So uh, in short, what you're doing is with that setting, and I'll show you here, let me just pull up the control panel. You are getting a higher resolution than what your monitor is displaying. And then you're going to essentially have that squished back down to what is the resolution so if we go into the setting here so manage 3d settings and you have to be in the global settings you're going to see something called dsr factors and when you go here you can change this to either the 1.78 or the 2.25 so that will give you 4k resolution so it's going to take 4k resolution grab all those pixels etc and then compress that down onto the monitor in which in this case i have a 1440p monitor and where you're going to see that is back over here in your settings as you can see we're rocking 4k and we're going to cap it at 60. i mean I'm trying to push a um we're trying to push a 4060 and have vsync off uh, I mean, it is a variable refresh rate monitor. So once you do the frame rate cap, it essentially is going to do what we need it to do anyway. And under settings. So what it recommends, because it picks up on the 4K, it wants to push everything down on this car to 33% or effectively ultra performance. We're going to leave it at 50 and as you'll be able to see here with frame generation on we turn ray tracing off now it does smooth out the shadows in the game but it's it's pretty heavy so this is why we have it off at 1440p you can run it on high settings just fine the last test i was doing like all medium um, but i will show you in this next video on why you would want to use dls dr so here's a little comparison video. So on the left, you, you do not have a uh, DLDSR, excuse me. And on the right, you do have the DLDSR. So, and the reason I'm showing you this here is because on the right, you can, and I hope YouTube doesn't ruin this, but you can see just how much more sharp the image is versus when you are running it at 1440p and then you are downscaling to essentially 50%. So on the left, it has it and on the right, it has 50%. And see, here's a great spot you can see here. Like look at this head on the left over here versus what it's showing on the right. Now, keep in mind that on the left side, I am using the full ray tracing essentially like path tracing i believe it is but on the right side over here i had to in order to get this to essentially function at 4k i did have to turn off the full ray tracing so that might have something to do with that but i mean just look at how much sharper this head is versus what's going on over here it's a lot blurrier but also see what we're trading in right like when it's full ray tracing you can see the branches 
reflection like the shadow excuse me coming down on this moss over here on the left but on the right side you're not seeing that shadow at all and likewise there's a spot here off of this rock that is just not represented over in this section at all and on this rock it's a little softer so there there are trade-offs uh, to turning off the you know full ray tracing if we're going this route because if you have the overhead for it you know of course you can just leave it on if you want um like say if you have a 4090 you wouldn't even really feel this i don't think but as far as something like the 4060 this is just to show that the k the game granted giving frame generation and all that kind of stuff it actually can run um at least at perceivable frame rates uh that feel good if that makes sense we really don't know yet exactly how that actually feels out in the wild because this benchmark tool doesn't let you run around and, and play the game with latency and all that kind of stuff so getting back to it we're just going to keep moving and as you'll see this is a great example here as well now something also that i found out here that you'll have to change or at least to have in consideration i took the global illumination down to low all right and on the left the global illumination is still at high and it, for some reason on low it just removes all of this detail and so instead of having this brown fur that goes on that it's supposed to have it's just all blacked out so i don't know if that's intentional or if that's just something that needs to be um, patched in on the final game itself i mean they only there's only a few more days before that but it just seems like global illumination on low is just turned off and if you see in the top right corner this is locked at 61 percent right now only because at least in the benchmark tool uh this actually gives an average of 60 frames a second but if you lock it to 60 then it gives you an average of 59 a little quirk that i was just playing around with to test out but as you can see we're coming up again this detail on this head isn't that bad without the dldsr but over here you can see you know the amount of detail that actually is on this this statue and you'll also notice the difference in the uh, ray traced water versus not and to be honest the non ray traced version really doesn't bother me all that much um this one isn't all that strong although beside each other you can you can clearly see the difference here um, but I think this might be more of like just a visual preference than anything. And again, this is just another shot that I want you to pick up on to highlight if you're really trying to push everything and get the most detail out of the game, then, you know, the DLDSR is giving a sharper image, but notice how this shadow on the right is missing all of this detail so this full ray tracing is putting in some work you'd have to have an eye for detail to see that i'm not sure how much of that you'd really care about while you're playing again it's a sort of uh you know pick your poison in that way what's your preference but th the cost on that using the dldsr is it's pretty substantial <laughs> that's why we're running a test exactly like this but showing it because I would love to see you all, right, do the same thing with it and be like, okay, like where are we, like how much are we getting out of this upscale and then squeezing it back down? AMD has something similar as well. I know because on my laptop, I was doing that for a while. And here's another spot where I was like, dang, man, <laughs> this, is my, this might be why you want to run this just look at this this archway on here like you are missing uh some color uh in here that 
you're getting from the ray tracing like it kind of gives like a green tint off of it but just look at how much sharper and the detail you can get off of this versus what you have going on over here man like it's it's not even close yeah right here's another shot right so global illumination is pretty much on low so it's off it doesn't have ray tracing on but over here on the left you can see that that green tint coming off of like the foliage and, and the, the surrounding area so like in just above two oh, i didn't even see that before like so see up here on the left like the detail in this pattern is completely absent up here on the right side now i don't know if that's just gone from the i would assume that's from the ray tracing not being on so you we are losing out on detail because everything else that i'm running on the right side is on high and and there was another thing that we just saw here on the ray tracing. the full ray tracing does something weird it doesn't have like the shadow flickering but it does have these instances where when the, the camera is panning over grass, it has this like shimmer thing going on as it's trying to figure out how to draw everything. Excuse me. All right. And as you can see here, look at the detail. I'm only pointing this out because you need to know what you're giving up. Like on the right, it's sharper, but it's missing the heaviness of the forest if that makes sense right because then look at look how much covered this path is with shadows versus this side that isn't of course if you just need the performance for it then you know there's nothing you can really do about it but this area like shows specifically why look how like kind of like blurry the camera is as it moves in on this particular scene versus on the right exactly like how sharp it tries to retain the detail now again on the 4060 uh, ti i couldn't do both i could i cannot do the dldsr and have the uh, full ray tracing on without that even with doing frame generation it will not hold 60 frames a second at all and so for me Right, like I can play this even with higher settings than what's shown here. The issue is I upload the content. And so you need something that's going to at least hold 60. So that way you're not having your recording jump around and, and be all stuttery. You know how it is when you're watching somebody play Call of Duty, they're running at 313 frames a second and they're recording it, but it's at 60. So you will inevitably, while you're watching the video, it will look smooth. And then it'll do this like kind of dragging thing on the screen and it'll go back to normal and it'll keep doing it over and over because it's dropping frames and then trying to catch up and find the next one. So it's not a, a smooth process as it were, right? So you have to do things in terms of 60. And since I can't hold 120 uh, at the settings that I want to, at least at 1440p, then I need to have it drop down to 60. Otherwise, I mean, this thing on 1440 high uh me not just on regular uh it will actually stay above eh, around like 80 something i believe frames a second which i was getting before but again for the sake of recording and showing other people then i'm holding it at 60. but i have another video that i'll show you right here all right so we're going to go into the settings and as you can see here it's at 50. i'm going to just hit medium and we are using the DLDSR. And then I'll show you, right, like how I'm trying to get it to maintain 60 frames a second. I just wanna see what medium ends up looking like. You wanna, I think, be at least on high to get like the visual detail. But as I've already shown you, like you are missing out on some things, even when you just turn off like ray tracing also the game has like this issue where uh i don't know like the 
the render distance is, is further out, but it always is loading in shadows and things like that. And I've seen this from other people's videos, even on a 4090. So it's an issue that was resolved in later versions of Unreal Engine 5, but I don't think this game is on the latest. And so it is very distracting, I have to say. I don't know if they're going to have that uh, ready for a patch or at least on, on day one. I did reach out to uh, inquire about that via X slash Twitter, um, but I haven't heard back about that yet. But it is something that is mitigated in the newer versions. And there's one other thing that we don't have in this benchmark. I do believe that the game also has DX11. So I would love to see what the performance will be uh, just on cards in general, but especially on this card running DirectX 11 versus DirectX 12. If there's any uplift, if we go backwards or if it, you know, is just worth staying where we are here on, you know, the 1440p setup that we got going on DX 12. And so you can see that in that clip, the detail is back. So I don't think that I have ray tracing on right now, but that detail came back. So I do believe that was an issue of global illumination, which is interesting. <laughs> so you definitely cannot set that to low. That makes me think that it's broken, right? I was just saying that I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. I do believe that low just turns it off and the developers uh, just missed that. But this test again was um, locked. And this is the shot that I want to show you. This is also why if you look at this clip on 1440p and you're using performance mode, it's just unstable, right? And like that, and even in here it's unstable, right? Like it, it still has like some shimmering going on a little bit, even with uh, the LSS. So that held 61 frames a second. So I can go down and it'll hold 60 just fine. And let me see if I can see it from your frame generation. Yeah, full ray tracing is off. And we we got that detail back. So let me see if we can just get back to it. Yeah, so this right here, this being missing is a result of global illumination being on low. So it's like missing that detail. So yeah, I'm glad we found that. <laughs> Thanks chat. So we fixed this by just leaving it on medium because that actually does give you performance uplift. If you put that on high, you are going to lose frames on a card like this. Uh, the game uh, is just very demanding. 4080s uh, have to you know look at the settings a bit. 4070s, even the 4090. Uh, runs at like something 90 frames a second when you turn on the full ray tracing. So that I just wanted to to give a little bit on there how you use the DLDSR so that you can get the performance you're looking for, right? That way, when you turn that on, you also have to change the resolution on your PC. So let me open this and, and show you here. You have to change the display resolution. Um, and then from there, you either can change, uh, then you go in game. I believe you can do this from the NVIDIA uh, app as well, but then you need to go into here, set your resolution higher, and then that will take the 4K, put it down onto the screen that you're using, 1080p, 1440p, etc., And then go in here and uh, mess with these settings, but this was me doing more testing. It can sit at, um, it can sit at high. And if you bring down, I believe I was messing around with like either the shadows and the global illumination, or I think it was like global, global illumination and vegetation, uh, that'll help you hold 60. But I mean, again, that's just for shooting video. You don't really have to think about any of that. If you're just playing the game, you can pretty much use the recommended settings. It'll give you the best performance. It's actually not that bad, but we'll have to see what kind of impact this has on the CPU uh, itself for like the different NPCs and all the stuff happening on screen. 
Uh, but so far, the game, it, it looks good. It is UE5. All of these games are heavy. Um, you know, everybody wants to use ray tracing now. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that, showing how to use the LDSR to just get more out of, um, you know, what you're looking at visually because the game is stunning and just want to get immersed in this world. So be sure to check out the channel. We'll be uploading content for it. I hope to stream it again. That's why I'm going through all of this to check out the settings. I think, I mean, I've already spent yeah, 19 hours. So we're out at 20 hours, uh, just on the benchmark tool, but I'll see you on the next one as always be the meta peace.